Welcome to Torque Sport. Yes, people, welcome to the uh, series on the Mini. That is the weirdest undercover van I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> that is pretty weird, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, welcome, people. Welcome to Talk Sports. This is the series where we're going to be mapping our F56 Cooper S Mini, which is currently on our way to Hybrid Tune in Ipswich. Should be there in about half an hour or so. I'll correct like that. that. I near this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we're currently on the way there. We'll be talking to Sam today about the tuning box that they've been developing over the course of a few years, I do believe. Uh, luckily enough, I've been offered to become a development partner uh, within the tuning box for the F56 Mini, just to see what it's like for daily use, I guess, and what improvements it makes to the cars, what I can find out, what isn't so good about it, etc. So yeah, we'll find out when we get there, when we get it tuned. So the next part of the video you're going to see, we have ourselves a draggy and we're going to do some stock 30 to 70 times. The theme around our channel uh, in terms of recording speeds, we're going to do 30 to 70 because it's a very common acceleration. It's not illegal when you're on dual carriageways, um, but it is generally just, well, it is just a speed you accelerate to really, isn't it? Yeah, well, when you're going down slip roads and stuff onto the motorway. Exactly. So it's so. like... Another cool thing, let's say this at 200 horsepower, for instance, you know, it, it's not going to break records doing 100 to 200 kilometer an hour, which is like 62 to 124, whatever. But this against something that's 500 horsepower that can't put the power down, it might not be as far apart as you might think at a common acceleration speed. So that's the aim between doing our 30 to 70s. But We'll do some stock runs now. We'll post our best. Um, yep. And then, yeah, we're going to do it again when it's tuned. It'll be a fair test because I'm going to be in it on both runs. But I've no doubt that it'll be quicker if Josh was by himself. But, yeah, we're going to do a draggy run now. And we'll see what we can get. Right, people. Uh, this is the first run that we're going to do of the draggy with the standard map. Obviously, it hasn't been tuned to a stage one. So we'll see what our 30 to 70 times are now. Ready when you are, Josh. So that was a 6.1. 6 6.1. 6 Not That's bad for the first, uh, first go in stock form. That not so. Not so. I feel like, yeah, perhaps without my weight, <laughs> Being in here, you'd probably get like a 5.8, 5.9 perhaps. Yeah. But in standard form with a passenger, it's pretty good going. Um, so yeah, you'll now see us at Hybrid Tune. See you in a bit. Right guys, we have arrived at Hybrid Tune. Exciting times, exciting times. <laughs> yeah, are you nervous? I am a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so First car I've ever got staged, so yeah. we'll see how it goes. Daily driver, hopefully get about 280 out of it, which we pucker really, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So the guys, Sam and the guys at Hybrid Tune, have just bunged the car in there. Just getting it set up ready on the dyno for some tuning. Um, I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you a little bit about what's here because there's some pretty cool minis and stuff like that here. I'll show you some of the cars and they've got, it's got some pretty cool track minis. Josh, I think you need that diffuser, mate. Yeah, I think I do. Big old <laughs> wang. 
something breaks, it'll do you nice as well. You're saying they're suffering from a bit of fade. Yeah. Bet these are so fun, properly tuned and tracked, didn't they? Got an old pulsar here. It's quite cool. Very old style. Almost like uh, Max Power esque. Then some C1s. Well, those are the old uh, pulsars, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Looks a bit like Max Power. Yeah, it? no, it does. <laughs> a very old style, uh, old school style. Cool though. Rarely see any. All right, guys, we're here at Hybridgen. It's a facility they got. It's very nice, very clean. Makes you feel like your car's being taken good care of. <laughs> well, that's what you always want, isn't it? Got a cool little customer waiting room. You help yourself to your teas and coffees and stuff. Very smart. This must be some of their boxes or tuning items. Nice and isn't it? Got the mini out there. there yeah, you go. you've got a little window. You can view your car getting tuned. Nicely strapped. Awesome. What do you think? Yeah, mate. It's lovely in here. I'd say they've won a few, uh, a few rounds of racing. <laughs> <laughs> So in stock form, the car made 212 horsepower, 296 newton meters of torque. It looks like they're now fitting their tuning box. I'll explain a bit more about why it's a tuning box fitment later on with Sam. So Sam's just come in from tuning and let us know that uh, it's running well so far. Um, he's just checking the logs for the knock and it's 249 horsepower and 341 newton meters. 342 basically new meters at the minute um like i say just checking logs and seeing if you can go more it's only at 0.9 bar of boost which is tiny i think he said it's either 0.6 or 0.7 bar standard so tiny boost increase made quite a difference in power um but yeah it's going well i mean you're happy already with that in you i'm very happy yes <laughs> <laughs> Two fifty, basically two fifty five horsepower and three hundred and forty eight newton meters. Not bad. Right, guys. So we've got the um, the mini is now mapped properly with the hybrid tuning box. I don't know if Sam wants to explain a little bit about the tuning box. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So um, the tuning box um, that we've developed is predominantly designed for the uh, sort of late model BMW and and minis. Um, our idea here was obviously, you know, from 2020 onwards, like midway through 2020 onwards, um, every single BMW and Mini with a with a Bosch ECU is is obviously locked. Um, so the tuning options are, are pretty pretty slim. Yeah. Um, you kind of got to spend a fair amount of money and have your ECU sent away to actually get into it and then tune it. And obviously, you've got the issues with you know if you do send your your car to a dealer and they yeah. update your ECU, you're kind of yeah. back to square one. So yeah, we've developed this, which um, we've done a lot of development with like the S58 engine. So that's like M2, M3, M4 G series, as well as uh, X3M and X4M. And we've done quite a lot with the B48 engine as well. So we've got B48 TU, which is fundamentally the, the engine they fit in the Mini GP3. Yeah. Um, as well as like the M135i and the M235i, Countryman's, um, Clubman, etc. And then we've done the JCW version of the F56, and now today we've done the, the Cooper S, so this is B48C engine with yeah. Manny head. Um, and yeah, we've got we've got pretty good results from it. Um, so initially we did a base power run, we saw um, 210 horsepower and 290 newton meters. 
which is a good in well standard increase with the few couple mods um yeah. from factory as well so that's pretty good to know yeah pretty good i mean to be fair from these especially the cooper s's we generally see a higher power output than yeah. stock um i think they kind of uh, you know they sandbag a little bit with these ones but the jcw's do tend to make about 230 kind of on the yeah. money so yeah it's 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 all good and in, in stock form everything on the data logs look good um so yeah we set about fitting the tuning box making a couple of little tweaks just to get it exactly how we want it yeah um, and yeah, we settled on uh, 257 and 342. Yep. I'll flip minions. the camera around in a moment and show you guys that. Gain, which is you know fundamentally 52 newton meters, is right from sort of 2,000 RPM um, all the way through to to the rev limiter, which is a six and a half on these. So is that nice. is the original? Run yeah, on that still the same. So the orange lines here, that's torque. So you can see the slightly fainter line under here. That's what we had original. And that's what we've got now with the with the tuning box fitted. And then the red line is power at the flywheel. Again, you can see see the faint line under here. It's a bit a bit shrouded by the blue line, but yeah, you can see there the power again. Yeah. You know, it's funnily enough, it's related to torque. Um, but yeah, you've got a, you've got a good gain of power there. Um, Still like very good in terms of being quite similar to factory driving. Exactly that. Um, yeah, that's that's the name of the game uh, and you know we, we don't ever develop anything to a power level where we're sort of concerned about reliability you know that's still that's still going to retain um you know a very good sort of oe level of reliability which we cover with our warranty on the on the tuning box so yeah we're super happy with that and then the blue line which i'll briefly mention there is wheel horsepower and then the green line is is drag um so yeah, really, really good gains on that, to be fair. You know, it's certainly going to be noticeable another 50 newton meters through the rev range. And apart from the tweaks we made, it basically took us 10 minutes to fit the tuning box. Yeah. And then get, yeah, get the first sort of tuned run out of it. So yeah, next stage is just to road test it and make sure it's uh, a bit spot on. Yeah. yeah, so main question is if Josh was to um, remove the tuning box, yeah. would it still run? as it should standard and then if you were to reinstall it it'd just be back to this tune yeah exactly that so you know if you want to take it off so obviously some people that you know car still in warranty probably not going to want to turn up a mini with with a no. hybrid tune tuning box out in the scuttle so taking it off is you know just as easy as installing it do you want to come over yep uh, so i'll just pop your engine cover here so we're basically tapped into the cam sensor so we've got rpm the map sensor and the T-map sensor, which we can't see, but it's just on the, the other side of the throttle body, essentially there. Um, so you could leave it where it is there, disconnect the sensors, and then just plug your original harness into the sensors, and you know, in 10 minutes or whatever, you, you're back to being totally stock. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, it's, it's super easy, and from that point of view, you know, if, if you do tune your car and it's still in warranty, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a scene, isn't it? And to be honest, even when you set it back to stock, uh, if BMW or Mini want to find out if it's been tuned, they can. Yeah. Like it, it leaves a uh, it leaves a trace in the ECU. Kind of yeah. So, you know, doing it this way is, you know, we offer our own warranty anyway. But, you know, if people do want to kind of take it off for service and updates and whatnot, they can. So yeah. Yeah. But that, um, obviously, that won't reset the tune like it would if they were to. No, yeah, no, that's another thing. Yeah, we, we have quite a lot of people where we you know will tune their car and they'll take it into a main dealer for a service or whatnot, and they'll they'll not even ask them to update. But generally, the tech will just plug in and they'll have a machine. If it says it needs an update, they'll just hit update, yeah. and then they drive out and they've got you know stock power again, and then mm. we have to they have to pay us a little bit of money to come back and uh, and kind of put the tune back on. Yeah. So yeah, there's no risk of that with, with that. Um, so yeah, no, it's kind of a good, a good alternative. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. Well, hello guys. So basically, I'm going through editing the video, and it's ended up being like just over 22 minutes, which is rather long. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here, and then we'll make a second part. So as you're watching this, or at time of release, it will be Sunday, and then on the wednesday i'll release part two probably about half six um so yeah be sure to check that out i just don't want to keep it too long as uh, so you guys lose interest or you know it just 
it's quite a long time 22 minutes for a video so we're going to snip that into two so yeah thanks for watching leave a like comment subscribe share see you on part two